This is Gemara and Shkalim Daf Talid, the learning for this month, the month of Nisan. As we forge into Mesechta Shkalim, has been sponsored by the Nishmas Chaim Mordechai Ben Avtali Tzvi by the Gruen family. The learning of the entire Chabura should be a tremendous schos ilin neshama. Of course, all the Chaylim and Ben Vegel Chaim and Sar Shlom Siv and Reizi Idol Sar Bas Kenendol Ita Bas Yin Bas Chay Sar Yisrael Ben Mendol Lei the Repairs Ben Shavlei Shlom Bas Nabi Bas Shavigav Shiachan Avol Davin Ita Riva Shmo Ben Tila Dinim Lachan Reizi Lamul Chay Bas Pinoli Bracha Bas Tov Musa Din Idol Idol Bas Shein Mendol Simcha Tovia Ben Avigal Fesh. We pick it up on the bottom of Gimel Amid Beis, we're up to the Mishnah, or more precisely, we're in Yerushalmi, so we should call it Halacha, the fourth Halacha of this first parak, the parak dealing primarily with the discussion of the Machsla Shekel, says the Mishnah. Continuing the theme that we learned in the previous Mishnah, that even though we said we do not take a mashkin, we do not take collateral, we do not force women, slaves, and children to pay the machsa shakel, avolim shaklum ekablum yadan. But if they give, we take it. Hanachri va akusi shashaklu, a guy or a kusi. Which, of course, we've seen many times. There was a big discussion. What level of, of Girin, the Kusimor, were they Goyim, were they Yidin? Which will, of course, be part of today's discussion. Ein Mikabla Mehem. We do not accept from the Goyim and these Kusim. We don't accept the Machsla Shakl, even if they give it willingly. Ve'in Mikabla Miyadam. We do not accept from their hands what else. Kane Zavim. The birds of a carbon Zav. Kane Zavois. The birds of a Zav for a female. Ve'kane Yoladois. Someone who gave birth. Ve'chatois. So whether this statement is going on a guy or a kusi is going to be a point of discussion as many people I'm sure are beginning to wonder that Gayim do not have dinim of Zav and Zava. So what exactly does the Mishnah mean? The Gemara is going to discuss that. But at face value, the Gemara said, the Mishnah says, Nachri and Kusim, we don't, number one, accept the Masla Shekel. Number two is we don't accept these different carbonites from them. Says the Gemara, says the Mishnah, Zaklau, call Shanidar Vinidam Mikablam Yadam. If a guy gives an Adava or a Neder, he wants to give money to the base of Migdash, as we'll see, that will accept. Call Shaina Inidar Vinidam, but it's not it's not his own personal uh, giving that in Mikablam Yadan, we do not accept from the guy. Vachain Mafur Saidi Ezra, and explains the Gemara, this is really explicit from the Pasuk in Ezra Shanemar that says, Loy Lachem Vilanu, not you and us referring to the Gayim, live nice base of the we're not going to build the house of God together, meaning we're not going to accept the money from the Gayim to build the Shem's house for the Bedek Abayis, for donations to the temple, to the base of Mikdash. As we move along to the Avdalad of Aleph, says the Mishnah further. And the truth is, if anyone looks in the Mishnayis, he's really broken into multiple Mishnayis. But let's continue. And the following year, Chayav in the Kilboin, which we're going to see, a Kilboin is an additional payment. Machsa Shekel was a standardized amount that every single person in Klai Yisrael gives a half shekel. But as we're going to see, there are certain times that in addition to the half shekel, you have to give a few extra pennies a kill bind to account for the change of rates, for the exchanging of the coins, etc. We'll see in the Gemara. Levi and the Yisraelim, the Gerim, Avadim, Shacharim, all these categories of people, Avoloi, Kayahanim, Vinash, Avadim, Uktanim, but those people, we do not accept the kill bind. So this whole din of a kill bind, giving this little bit extra, does not apply to Kayahanim, Nash, Avadim, Uktanim. Potter, if someone gives a machsla shekel for the kain isha avid or katan, then you do not pay this kilbain. Vim shakal al yadai vial yadi Let's say you give a coin, you give your machsla shekel for yourself and for your friend. You come to the base of Mikdash with one shekel, not two half shekels, as we'll see. For yourself and for your friend, Allah is chay of the kilbain, you have to pay. Chay of the kilbain echad, you have to give one kilbain, one a little bit additional amount. Again, like we explained, which is from the Tiklan Khan, it didn't take to account for the change in currency and for the exchanging for the money change you had exchanged your one full shekel for two half shekels. For Rameir Amr, base kill by nice, says Rameir, when you give for yourself and your friend, not only do you give one, you have to give two times this kill by which we'll see what that means. I know you say in sell of an idol shekel. Someone who gives a sell up and he takes the change of a shekel, meaning he gives too much and then he for he has to give change. Chayiv Shnei Kalbana, he says the Gemara as well. You have to give Shnei Kalbana, you have to give two a little bit additional amounts. 
Potter. Let's say you're a nice guy. You give the machzal shekel on behalf of the ani, on behalf of a neighbor. Then, even though you're doing it for two people, you do not have to give this extra kilbin. Vim helvim, but if you're borrowing, then chayiv, then you have to. Now, the mission concludes with a din, which the Gemara at the end is going to explain. Achim v'ashotfim. Brothers and partners, or maybe it's achim v'ashotfim. Either it's one case or two, we're going to have to see shachayavim bekilbin, that they are obligated in a case of kilbin, meaning in a case where you have to pay the additional amount, which at the moment we could say is when they both give jointly, then peturim in meiser, then they are potter from giving meiser, because Allah is, which is we're going to explain, that shotfim never have to give up meiser. The whole din of meiser is only a din when someone is giving crap from his own personal field, but when there are partners in a field, in an entity, there's no din of Meiser. Patur me Meiser behema. Ukisha chayavim be Meiser behema. And in situations where the brothers who are inheritors, yes, have to give Meiser behema, like we're going to see in a case where they did not divide the estate yet, then Patur me al Kilbun, then they're not considered partners, therefore you're not considered partners, then you don't have to give the Kilbun, because like we've seen so far, this whole din of giving this little bit additional amount is when two people together give their max the shack of a Kamu Kilbun. How much is it? Says the Gemara, did Meya Kasif de Vermeer. Rameer says it's 124th of a cello, which is a male kasef, and chachamim say chatzima, which is 148th. So those are the din- dinim in the Mishnah. We have the first part of the Mishnah that discussed the din of uh, Nashim, Avadim, and Kitanim, and the din primarily of Nachim and Kutim, whether we're going to accept the Machsa Shekel from them. We have the second part of the Mishnah that starts dealing with the din of a Kilbain, and we learned that Levim, Yisrael, and Agin, Ravadim pay this, but, but Kohanim, Nashim, Avadim, and Kitanim do not pay this additional amount. And then we further the Mishnah by explaining that when you give two people together, according to Tanakam, you give the Kilbain. Ramir says in all cases, and we conclude the Mishnah with some din about brothers who are inheriting that the cases where they they have to give the kill when they're they're going to be put there from Maiser and vice versa. Let's see the Gemara and everything will mirror to Shem be very clear. Says the Gemara, Afal Pisha Amru Bechulu. This is the beginning of the Mishnah. The beginning of the Mishnah said, even though we do not take the Mashkim. But if they want to pay, they pay. Says the Gemara, what's the obvious deal? We can't ask them to give. If they give, they give. Says the Gemara, that's a direct stira. Our Mishnah, we infer that you have to give. That we don't be tavea, we don't claim to have a So it's a stira between our Mishnah and a different Mishnah. Answers the Gemara, Tarz that we saw yesterday. Similarly, when the cotton brings base iris, like we pointed out yesterday, is a unique type of cotton. This is not referring to a minor, it's referring to someone between the age of bringing base iris, 13 years old, and the age of 20, that's when it will be Taiveo, we're going to ask him to give, but less than that, we're not going to even ask him to give. That's the first part of the Mishnah about the Katan, answering the steer of the contradiction between our Mishnah and the Mishnah elsewhere. The Gemara continues, that they do not we don't accept from them. It's certain things we do. Let's explain. Amar Abba, Tipot there, let's, Kimanda Amar, we're going to explain, according to Manda Amar, that learns, Kuti, Kinachri, that all makes a lot of sense, according to Manda Amar, that a Kusim are like Goyim, that it makes sense that the Mishnah put together Goyim and Kusim and all the Dinim. This Pilgan, Kuti, Kinachri, Divri Rebbe, that the Kutim are like Nachri, according to Rebbe, and Roshim Gamliel, Amar, Kuti, Ki Yisrael, Chal Davar, and Roshim Gamliel holds, then no, they have a regular full-fledged in of a Jew. Amar Rav Lazer Mas Nisan bin Nachrim. Says Rav Lazer, no, you can't explain like you just explained, but rather the whole Mishnah must be referring to a guy. Habakusim lai. But when it comes to Akusi, you're not, you're yes going to accept different donations from them because Rav Lazer is learning, Rav Lazer is learning that the Kusim have a din of a Giri MS. They're full-fledged Jews. So we'll yes accept their um, different items they want to give to the base of Migdash, unlike we saw in the Mishnah. Vitani, we learned in the Mishnah, Cain, Adam, it says in the Torah, Adam, the rabbi, it's like Geirim. It comes to include Geirim. And Mikam is like his Amumarim. So it says Rebel Azar, says Rebel Lazar, the fact that the Torah wrote Adam comes to include Geirim. What Geirim is this including? This is including Kutim. He learned that Kutim are din of a full-fledged Geir, full-fledged Jew. And therefore he explains, not like it said in our Mishnah, that we will, yes, accept donations and the like and Machs shekel from a 
Kuti. And on that, the Gemara explains, like we just said, Masnis and Polika, Rabbi Lazar. Our Mishnah seems to argue why. Because what our Mishnah say, Our Mishnah explains, you do not accept these Karbanas from them. What was that phrase in the Mishnah talking about? We pointed this out when we read the Mishnah. Was that phrase in the Mishnah talking about a guy? Of course not. Because Gaim don't have a din of Zav and Zava. Ella, what must they be talking about? Talking about Kusim. But the Mishnah says you do not accept from them. Clearly not like Rev Lazar. Answers the Gemara, no. Ella Reisha ben Achram is Seva Bekutim. Says Rev Lazar, no. The first part of the Mishnah, I agree with you, is talking about Gaim, but the end is going to be talking about Kutim, so it can fit with that which I'm teaching you. And says the Gemara, Cain, I'm sorry, so it's really like a question. Reisha ben Achram is Seva Bekutim. And on that, the Gemara answers Cain, who Reisha ben Achram is Seva Bekutim. And therefore, only the Steve is referring to Kutim, and therefore it is not at odds with the opinion of Rav Lazar. Amar Rav Yechlan betzchila in mekam lemeiam loy davar mesuyam loy davar sheinam mesuyam. Says Rav Yechlan. Originally, we did not accept from the Goyim whether it's a fixed amount, something you put up a plaque for, or whether it's just giving a little bit of a donation. Ubesayv mekam lemeiam davar sheinam mesuyam, and at the end we'll accept from the Goyim not a a full fledged donation. We don't want to have to hang up in the base. I make does this item was dedicated by this guy, but we'll. Give them from something which is not misuyam a bit of a bad gabai, so they just want to donate towards the vase I make the mekam the man davar misuyam, but we do not accept from them a set amount of an item. That is Rav Yoichanan. Rav Shimon Lakish Aimer Rish Lakish argues and he says bein bitzchila bein bisayf ain mekab lemiyam loy davar misuyam loy davar she ain misuyam. We don't accept donations of the guy into the vase I make dash and leave me alone. Rav Yoichanan learned will accept non-specific, non-plaque worthy donations. Rish Lakish. He says, no, we don't accept anything. Says the Gemara, Our Mishnah seems to prove Rav Shlakish and argues with Rav Yechran. Why? Because what our Mishnah say, You're not going to accept from them the Hektish and the Dava. So seemingly, we don't accept every, anything from the Gaim, which seemingly is a... Um, approved to Reish Lakish does not sound like Rav Yechlin because Rav Yechlin said we do accept small donations but the Mishnah seemed clearly that we do not accept anything from the Gaim on this says the Gemara Patar La again the word Patar is the Gemara's way of saying it's an answer we explanation Patar La Bein Betzchila Bein Besaif Ubelvad Dover Mesuyam when do we say in the Mishnah that we don't take anything from them is the Dover Mesuyam a specific amount beginning and end but says the Gemara but if it's a non-specific amount, basoif, meaning after they were more megal, that we would yes, accept. And then we have another gear, then no, it's referring to what does it say we will not take from them. And we'll take anything from them, even money in the beginning, because we're talking about in the beginning that we don't take um, anything from the Gayim, the gear that changes Mesuyam to Betchila, because we'll throw their money to the Yama Melech. But basoif, they did allow them to take something. That is Rav Yechanan. Rish Lakish argued and said, We never take anything from Gayim. Says the Gemara, Now the Mishnah seems to be at odds with Rish Lakish. A different Mishnah explains that you don't take anything from Gayim. But however, Rish Lakish seemed to say that you're going to. Again, Rish Masnisan. Because it says, Shavin Shein Shehein. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. Shehein Noidim and Noidim. That they, yes, take the donations from the Gaim. That's a cash and Reish Lakish because he said you don't take anything from them. On that explains the Gemara, answers Patula Oila. It's referring to the Oila, that's what Carbon Oila will accept from the Gaim. X asks the Gemara, Nicha Noidrin Oila. We understand if a guy wants to pledge a Carbon Oila, makes a lot of sense. Nidrin Oila. But we could pledge an Oila for the guy to give. What what does that mean? Says the Gemara, Ella Kish Amri Yisrael, you know what the case is. This is a Jew who says, I'm going to bring in carbon oil. And his neighbor, Leroy, Vishama Nachri, the guy he hears, Vamar Masha Amar Ze Olai. I'll bring the carbon oil. So that's going to be the case that we're going to accept the carbon oil from the guy. But in a regular scenario, it is not a question on Reish Lakish. He says, we do not accept anything from the Goyim. And now the price that continues, seven lines to the bottom, that the Goyim are now going to bring extra libations together with the carbon oil. And now the price that continues, seven lines to the bottom, that the Goyim are now going to bring extra libations together with the carbon oil. 
But and the excess they cannot bring. Loyal klisharis ina nimsa. They don't br- bring it to the klisharis. Maybe lo- I'm sorry. Maybe my nis- nisachim. One more time. I apologize. Let's read that again. Masti. Um, where are we? Veinai maybe my nisachim. Umota umaiser nisachim loy liklisharis ina nimsa. Then says the Gemara maybe davar musuyam. Yeah, so there's different gear size over here, which is a little bit difficult. So Hasiv, Rabbi Yaisi, Bar, Rabbi Bun, Vatanina, but we learned in Erchen, Baarchen, Loyal of the Gabai Zinon, Hechma, the Ata Amar Taman, the Shamayamu. Ah, that's the case that the Gaim are going to be allowed to pledge. When do we say the Gaim are allowed to pledge? When they say, La Shamayim, Miskavain, Umeleyan, and Bayim, they come on their own. La Bet the Gabai is, Kainat Amar, Avog, La Shamayim, Miskavain, as we move along to that that's going to be the case that we're going to allow them to bring the carbonos is in the specific case that the guy on their own pledge and the guy show a willing list that the, willing that they want to give it straight to the uh base on Megdosh. And that explains the Gemara on Amr Beis, Likley Sharis, my Abila. What do they use these carbonates for? Rishim and Lakish Patala, Rishim and Lakish explains. The reason we do not accept anything from the guy, and this was the Pasik that we quoted from Ezra and the Mishnah, is because we don't build the base on Mikdash with Gayim. We don't together build the base on Mikdash. That is the riot's opinion of Reish Lakish. Rav Amar Rav Simoin El He asks three lines down, Ulachem ein chelak. We should not accept anything from the Goyim. As it says, Ulachem ein chelak. They should not have any portion. And therefore, he's learning that we're not going to take anything from them, neither even for the basic repairs of the city of Yushalayim. Even that, we will not accept from the Goyim. Now, the next few lines is just a repeat, really, of the Mishnah. Let's, let's skip the parentheses. And now, well, the Gemara will explain. Masnisa de Rameir. This is a question. The Gemara is asking, where did Rameir get his din? Rameir, again, let's go back into, what did the Mishnah say? This is the din of a kilbon. The din of a kilbon we spoke out, we learned the Mishnah is, that when you bring the Masa Shekel, there are certain scenarios, certain scenarios, which we're going to define more right now, they have to add on a bit of additional surcharge, a kilbine, like we explained, for the money changer, etc. Rameer came along and said, by a kilbine, you have to give two, two by, but you have to give two different times. So the Gemara explains, my season, the Rameer, where did he get it from? Answers the Gemara, the Rameer, Keshev, Shishikloi, Taira, Kach, Kiblanu, Taira, just like, I'm sorry, Keshev, Shishikloi, Taira, right? Why? Meaning, just like the, we accepted the Torah, accepts it because What's the case? You gave a full shekel, like we keep on explaining. You have to give a max as a shekel, a half. When you give more and you have to take change, that's when this din of kilbin comes in. But Amir takes it to the next level and he says, You gave a full shekel. Shuchayev be kilbin, and you have to explain, pay a little bit more. Damar Amir, Kimin Matme, Shalei, Zaytia, Kadir Barcho, Mitachas Kisi, Kavoy, Dai, Hashem, Brought out a, a fire that looks like a coin underneath his heavenly throne. And therefore, it says Rameer, but we always have to be concerned that as money changes hands, it could be diminished a little bit. And therefore, you might not be giving the appropriate amount. And the amount that you have to give is heavenly ordained, as God Himself showed Moshe the shape and the limage of the coin. So therefore, says Rameer, you always have to add on a little bit more to compensate that maybe there might not be enough in that which you gave. That is one reason. And the second reason that you're adding on is for the regular exchange. So again, in the Mishnah, we learned the Din of Kilbain. The Din of Kilbain taught us that when you give a full shekel, not a half, then you have to add on a little bit more. Why? Because of the money changer fee, etc. Rameer says, and then you always have to add on another time. Why? Why do you have to add another time? Another time? Because the amount that you have to give is so biblically ordained to the dot of the penny that we always are concerned that maybe you're going to be one dot too small. So for that concern, says Rameer, what you do is you always add add on this kill bind 
then you will not have a problem. Says the Gemara, quoting the end of the Mishnah, uh, not the end, the second last case of the Mishnah, if you kill Banais, if you give a Sela and then you take change, you have to give two times. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Lazar, we're going to have a Machlaikas over here, Dara Meiri. So Rav Lazar says, who is the Tana that holds you give two kill Banais, two bit uh, surcharges, that is Rav Meir. Dara Meir, who? Dara Meir, Amar Echad Shekel Shunais, in you have to give one because you gave and the other one for the change that you took. That is the sheet of Rameir. They always have to give two times. The Tanya, as we learned in Abraisa, Elu Chayavim Bekilbain Bechulu Kilbain Echad Rameir Amr Beis Kilbain Ice. So the Gemara is assuming right now that when the Mishnah said that in the case that you give a cellar and you take change, and the Mishnah said you have to give two Kilbain Ice, that's the opinion of Rameir. That one is for the exchange and the second is because you always are nervous, it's a bit too little. That is how Rav Lazar explains the Mishnah. Comes along the Gemara, Umar Rav, Mar Rav argues on Rav Lazar. And he says, no, Divriakoli, this statement in the Mishnah that said, when you give a cell and you take a shekel change, you give two kalbanais, it fits with everyone, not only Rameir. Why? Whether the shekel you gave or the shekel you talk, Bechel the Divri Taira. And you have to give a second time for the Dinda Raisa that there might not be enough. So therefore, the Rav, Mar, Rav is explaining that, that it's going to be according to everyone in this case, you're going to have to give the second bit amount because you're giving and you're taking these two transactions. Therefore, you give two kilbayin. It's not only according to the opinion of Rav Meir. But on that, says the Gemara, a fascinating point. al daiti de Rav, according to Rav. What did Rav just teach us? Ma Rav just taught us that you always give two. Why do you give two? One, because you gave. And a second, because you took back. Says the Gemara, if you take the opinion of Ma Rav and you put it into Rav Meir, you're going to get three kilbayin ice. al daiti de Rav, gimel kilbayin ice inon. One, because you gave. One, because you talk. And the third, like we Said, we're afraid it's going to be one dot too little. Also, Rav Yermia, Rav Shmobar, Rav Yitzchak, B'Shem, Rav Shleisha Kalbane is in on and explain just that. Echad Shekel Shunaisi, Echad Shekel Shunaita, Echad the Tivrei Teira. Of course, that is only according to the opinion of Rameir. Rameir, who is always chayshish that you might be have given a drop to less. That's why you're going to have to give two Kalbane. It's not Lachas, not like Rameir, and that is what we saw in the Mishnah. Let's just recap this last little piece before we learn one more piece of Gemara. Again, we had a dinner of the Mishnah. Whenever you give them. Something I'm sure many of us didn't know. We know you have to give a machsla shekel. Everyone gives the same amount. That's true. But there are times you have to add on a little bit. You have to add on a little bit. According to our mayor, because you're always afraid it's a little bit too little. According to other opinions, if you give a full shekel and therefore you have to get change, or therefore the, the money changer has to buy two half shekels with your shekel, then we're afraid there's going to be a little bit lost. So you add on a kill by a little bit amount to, to compensate for that. Says the Gemara Achim Ba'ashot Vichayvim Mikilvain. So we had concluded the Mishnah. We said, when we have brothers that have to give the Kilbain, the Allah is Pturim Himaiser. The Allah is, since they're partners, since they're partners and they're giving one shekel for two different people, therefore the Allah is number one, you got to pay the Kilbain this little bit. And number two, though, is your Pater Meiser, like we spoke out, there's no Dina Meiser from Shotfin. Explains the Gemara. The case is they divided the estate and then they became partners. Then in that case, Shachayovin be Meiser Behema. Then you have to give Meiser Behema. Ubturim min a Kalboin. Bishaloi Chalku. I'm sorry. The first case, once again, I read it wrong. The first case is when they were Chalku. When they were Chalku, and then Chalz Ruvinish Tatfu, then they became partners. That's going to be one case. Avo Bishaloi Chatfu. But if they did not divide this deed at all, then the Allah is, they're not partners. Since they're not partners, they're Chayev and Meiser. If they're Chayev and Meiser, they do not have to give the Kilboin. And now the Gemara explains, Amar of Laser of Laser explains, Vehain Shachalku. Gedim can I get to Yashim to Hashim can I get Gedim? When is there a case where they split it up and that they're called like partners and therefore they're like someone who is partner from Meiser and yes gives a kill boin says Rev Laser is only if I take goat and you take Tiyashim and you take Tiyashim and I take goat meaning they do it and therefore it says if I bought part from you and you bought part from me and therefore this is if there's a transaction going on here between the two brothers and their father's estate that's why it ends 
of the day, they're like partners and potter from Meiser and Chayv in Kelboin. Avalim Chalku Gedim, can I get Gedim with Yashim? Can I get Yashim? Hu Chalku Mishas Rishayna. Then says the Gemara, it's not like they're partners. It's not viewed as if I bought from you and you bought from me. It's as if this is how it's inherited. Like the last line of Tiklin Chatan explains, Yesh Freira. We retroactively clarify that I inherited A and you inherited B. And therefore, in that case, it's not like it's considered a case of partners. And therefore, in that case, you would be Chayav in Maser and Maser and Potter from the uh, kill blind. Amr Rav Yechel na filu chal kigdim kena gidiyadim gidiyim v'tiyashim kena gidiyashim kel kuches he says in all cases it's like you bought a one from another uptum in a meiser kuhu de tanina and taman like we learned alukuach v'shnitz lo matana uptum in meiser behema even in that case he learns you're going to be part of a meiser behema that's this fascinating din of a kill blind that you have to add on a little bit more when you give for you and your friend or like in the case of the estate when you are inheritors and you divide the estate and therefore it's if A bought from B and B from A, now your partner is in one big entity. So your partner from Isaac, we have to give on the extra kill ball and we'll pick up from here tomorrow.